What's up everybody, it's Kevin here from Happy Beard Games, and today we are playing Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Nintendo Switch. I don't usually play this on my channel or do videos about it, but we are going to check out Nintendo Switch's online service, and they just added some new games. So this might be a new series or something for me, but I'm not sure. Let's see how this goes. We're going to check out all five of the games that they added today. Let's jump in with Nightshade, part one, the claws of Sutek. It says Beam Software, Ultra Software, Ultra Games, which is usually a subsidiary or a, something of Konami. Ultra Games, here we go. We got Beam Software once again. Uh, Nightshade, look at that font, that's awesome. Part one, the claws of Sutek. That's my home. Metro City, quiet place, good city, good people, good future. The streets were safe once. A person could walk around without any worries. The kind of place where you can always knew your kids were safe. <laughs> but as time passed, bad seeds started to grow and Vortex, Metro City's protector, was outnumbered. Oh, it's the crime squad. Criminals. Even with the help of the local police, Vortex was no match for the growth of corruption. With Vortex gone, the criminals moved in like a cancer, eating through the city's heart. Wow, it's kind of dark. Day by day, Metro City was getting worse. Without Vortex to combat crime, things started to get out of hand. Crime feeds upon itself like rats fighting over cheese. Pretty soon, the crime bosses began to fight over control of Metro City. Then something began to change the gang war stop. There's someone new in town. Someone organizing all the criminals. He's the one I want. He's the one who wants to kill my town. Someone had to do something. There's City Hall. There's perfect font up there on the building. It's a cool shot. Someone had to take Vortex's place. Someone had to stand up to Sutek. It's time to put a stop to this plague. It's time for Nightshade. Yeah. This is awesome. Okay, so that text is going really fast. So pathetic, meddler. Your career is over before it has begun. Now there is no one to stop me in my reign of evil. Okay, so we've got... We're wobbling out of a chair. There's a bomb on the wall. Can I click on anything? Oh, whoa, what the heck? Okay, oh, it is a point-and-click game, okay. The cursor is really slow, though. Um, can I go down to the bomb? No? Yeah? Okay. We've got money and cancel. I just don't really need money right now, but... Let's cancel that. See if I can... Oh, you can press forward to wobble that way. I thought you had to wiggle your way out. Okay, so now we're going back to this. This is like that scene in uh, Indiana Jones, um, in The Last Crusade, where they're like tied up and they're gonna burn out. Is this gonna be like one of those? The candle has begun... Yep. The candle has begun burning through Nightshade's ropes. I guess I gotta wait on that a little bit. Nightshade is free. Oh, sweet. We are out. You can walk around fully. It's not point and click to walk. So we got our obligatory sewer stage. Got to have a sewer level in every Nintendo game, especially on the NES. Let's walk over here. Oh, what the, look at that guy's face in the painting. Um, so we still got examined by pressing A, and you can look at everything. I guess it's thoroughly unremarkable, except no. Wait a minute. It's got no. Sorry, it's unremarkable. This game has a weird sense of humor, but it's actually pretty funny. Uh, let's do what this thing is over here. The lever has caution, self-destruct mechanism, do not touch written upon it. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I don't want to pull that, but um, I don't want to die. Let's check out what this uh, armor is. Make sure there's... Okay, you have to be closer up to get to it. I kind of like this game. Um, I don't want to spend too much time playing it because I want to check out the other games, but this is pretty interesting. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, even though it just started. I just, I really like these point-and-click games like Indiana Jones and the, uh, the Temple of Atlantis or whatever. Key of Atlantis. I used to play it on, like, a PC when I was a kid. It's a really fun game. It's very similar in style to this. Uh, here's a crowbar. The crowbar is engraved to my dearest Irma Love Toki. Can I pick it up? A key now. So it's kind of cool because you're not pointing and clicking to walk, which makes it a little bit easier, a little more Nintendo style. 
That's what the B button does. The B button also brings you... Wait. The A button is examine, and it brings up a menu. The B button is operate. You have to go back out to get... See, it says operate now, so we gotta... Um, I guess it's like a use function, like if you're playing like Shadowgate, or... Or even Dragon Quest. Who's this dude? Is this a bad guy, or...? Yo, what up? Oh my god, it's like a fighting game! Oh my- what? Wow, it's really fast-paced, too! Oh my god, bring it on, fisticuffs! I think I just died! Oh my god! What?! I did not expect that. I thought it was just gonna be like point and click and there'd be some puzzles to solve, but now it looks like we're in like a torture device. Can I get out of this? It's a shame your career was so short, for a moment I thought you might be a worthy opponent. Yeah, this is a game that I'm gonna have to, like, like focus on more. This, is this, like, this is like a game over screen. Okay, uh, whoa, wait, no. On the, I can't reach it from here. Well, how do I get out of this situation? I can't do that? What do you mean I can't do that? What am I supposed to be doing here? Is there like a way out of this or am I just like done for? Oh my god, I'm gonna get mashed. This is like that scene in Attack of the Clones, but like scarier kind of. Okay, uh, this thing, I can't do that. Can I examine anything? Nothing unusual here. Well, I mean, say that. Uh, stop. I can't reach it. I think I'm just like I, I, I'm done. Can I get? Can I like, examine myself? Can I get up? I can't. I can't do anything. Splork. I guess that's Nintendo's version of uh, you're getting squashed to death. Splork. <laughs> Pathetic creature. Did you really think you were a match for the power of Sutek? Metro City is mine. Whoa, he's taking over the city. Now this game, I really want to play some more. But it's going to take a lot of time to, like, figure it out, like, over and over. So, for now, we're going on to the next game of this of this uh, update today. Uh, I didn't I didn't do anything in this game. The 0%. You've achieved complete weed status. Whatever that means. I guess it means I just did absolutely nothing. This game has a really nice sense of humor in it. And, uh, it's just, it's a fun, it's really good. I like this game a lot. Um, so that's a good one. But the first game that we checked out is a good one. Let's go all the way back to game selection and then just go all the way back to the home menu and close the software. We're going to go check out Super Nintendo now. And we're going to check out uh, all the games that they added today. And they should pop up just like with the Nintendo NES games at the top of the screen. So we have them sorted already. Uh, it has the pretty much, if you don't know, it has the same features as the Nintendo NES does. You can play it online, you can play it two-player, you can play it watching someone else. Uh, on this one, they actually added some Famic or Super Famicom games. So, I like, see, I put these three Super Famicom games up there. I think there's some PAL games, uh, which are European uh, Nintendo, or U European region games. Let's check out Hey Punk, Are You Tough Enough, which is tough enough. I don't, I don't know anything about it really. It's, it's a fighter or a beat em up. Or some people call it a brawler. Jalico. In the year 2151, the war to end all wars broke out that nearly destroyed the war to nearly destroyed the entire planet. The Earth became a barren and desolate place where only the strongest would survive. During this crazy time, a man came into power who called himself Jade, the Fighting King. The Fighting King built a huge tower in the city to show off his great strength. As time went by, the power and reputation of the Fighting King grew. Many fighters tried to defeat the King, but none came back. Okay, Everyone was beginning to give up hope that the King would ever be defeated until... A tournament was called. The champions of the remaining four great states were chosen to challenge the Jade King with the four champions. Decided, they headed off through the desolate lands towards the Great Tower. Cool, cool, cool. 
This is where we pick up the story, only you can help to save the world from fading into utter chaos. Alrighty, that was the intro scene. Tough enough. Uh, let's check out the options menu real briefly. We've got an easy mode, a normal mode, a hard mode, leave it on normal time limit. You can change the controls. Let's go back. Let's hit the start button. Are we going to choose a character? Or, oh, we got story versus CPU, one player versus two player. Let's head over to story mode. Uh, you got a password to continue on a start. Okay, so we've got Sio or Shio, Zazi, Kotono, and Vance. Is that Vance? He kind of looks like um, Sagat, or, or not Sagat, um, uh, you know, like a Street Fighter character, I guess. I don't know, I can't think of I guess he does look like Sagat. Uh, I don't know how I'd choose. I'll just choose the first guy. Stage one. Is this a fighter or a beat em up? I don't know. Oh, it is a fighting game. Okay. Well... Wow. We kicked each other at the same time in the air. Low kick. Let's see how their moves I got. That's a, that's a weird kind of punch, like a double like, palm punch. This is kind of cool. It's weird how it like pauses and stuff. Like when you hit them, there's like an impact kind of, where like it'll pause a little bit, like, a real brief like action. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's not like Street Fighter exactly, but or Street Fighter Two, but come on. There we go. We got him. Okay. I was like, I can't lose the first match. I'm not gonna have that happen again. You win. Life, 4,000. We got some points for how much life we have left. Jumping around. Oh, see, he knows how to do Hadoukens and stuff. Just key blast. Now I'm. Wow, I didn't dodge that at least. It is sure you can equivalent. So I don't know how to do that. Can I, can I even do that? I'm a different character, so I did something like that. I did like a like a I don't know what it was. It's was like a smack smack away Hadouken. That was a good attempt that time. It's gotta be a little bit tougher to be tough enough to beat this game. Um third bout. I kind of like this one. Uh, so far, it's kind of like a... It seems kind of like a Street Fighter 2 clone with a little bit more story. Uh, I, it's a little too early to judge this game by anything. Uh, but it looks kind of cool. And it's not bad. Just... Whoa! Uppercut. Ah, uh, he kicked me when I jumped at him. Did we get one more round, or... No, because he won two out of three. Oh. Whoa! Oh, this is cool! A replay! I can, like, control it with L and R. Uh, that's cool. Wait, can I, like, go back into the game? Can I, like, relive my match? Slow-mo. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that was just like an extra replay you can watch. Well, that's a neat feature. That's different. Got our password. Here lies the loser. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, I would like to continue again, but the cool thing about Nintendo Switch, you can do these su suspend points. So I'm gonna make one right there. And then whenever I want to load it, I can do that. And actually, you know how I was talking about going back and rewinding? If you hold down L or ZLZR, you, uh, um, you can just kind of scroll back to where you were <laughs> and then continue the game from there, which is really cheap. I don't do it too often, but uh, you, you can do it. So the next game is uh, The Ignition Factor. I'm doing these in order. We're going to do Donkey Kong last. And Super Valus 4 is the one I'm looking forward to that I haven't played. So far, this game is okay. And the other one on NES, uh, Nightshade or whatever, it was, it was pretty cool, actually. I want to play that one some more. 
Uh, the Ignition Factor, 1994 Jalico, and Jalico once again, the same developer, publisher as the last game at least. Uh, the Ignition Factor, which I, I think it's a firefighting game. The only other firefighting game I can think of on the Super Nintendo is Plock, where you get a fireman suit. I think there's a fireman suit in, in one of the Mickey Mouse games, too. Okay, so we got Game Start, Password, Sound Test. Let's start this bad boy. Okay, people, let's save some lives. Now, I've never really played a firefighting game. Let's choose this one. But I played one at the arcade that was not like 2D like this. It's gonna be probably it was like a 3D like shoot uh, like a light gun game. It was kind of interesting. Okay, so we got uh, we have 10 minutes to complete this mission. We're going to go like six people and get out because of the chemical nature of this company. Be sure to plan ahead for unusual fires. The company has many chemicals. These chemicals may explode. Causing toxic gases. Be careful. There's a door you can't open. The axe can be very helpful. So we got. Oh, is this like a sim management game? I thought it was more of an action game. Let's see. We got. No, no, this is just the map. Okay. Yeah, so we got the first floor and the basement floor. That's the map. Fire truck. Choose the arrow that corresponds inside the building. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can like choose like what part you want the truck to aim at. But I don't. How do you tell? I don't know how what part's on fire, so I'll just kind of leave it default. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this looks like a Mac computer. That's cool, uh, if you notice that. Uh, each item has an icon, either a circle or a triangle. You cannot use two items with the same icon at a time. After you selected, push OK. We're going to need the axe. Can you just drag and drop? Uh, we're gonna need whatever, chemical fire. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay, and then what's this? Electrical fire. No. Oh, I don't understand the triangle. Oh, the triangle symbol is okay, so this is like a circle. It's like right in the corner and then that, so I think I can use this one. I don't think I can use two of these, though. Let's just, let's just do this, okay. Equip item. After item is equipped, press OK. I thought the last thing was that. Okay, so we're gonna want the axe. We're gonna want this probably with that. And then the fire truck. I guess just we have three of them. Okay. So here we go. Axe is A. We're going in the room. Gonna, oh, do not jump. <laughs> I forgot, this is not Nintendo NES, there's more than two buttons. Okay, so we got the Y button to shoot out fire. Am I, am I just supposed to be rescuing people, or, or am I supposed to be putting out the fires too? I already ran out of water, so I don't know what the point of that was. Is there a way to get more water without going back in? No. This is already confusing. Oh, if you hold down L, you can see through the floor, kinda. Um, so we got no more water left. We've got a kick. And I think we're gonna have a hard time with this. I don't, under I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Was I supposed to not use that type of fire extinguisher? Because it's not... All he will kind of look like mannequins. That's really weird. Oh, I can change it out in the menu. Okay, oh, well, thank, thank goodness for that, because... Yeah. Okay. That was almost a big oof. I don't know how much more this will last. Oh, there's a countdown, or like an ammunition count? Wow, that... So this isn't a real person, it's just a mannequin. That's weird. Okay, so there's like a whole bunch of mannequins, and there could be a real person hiding in it. So there's that chemical fire, so we got But it looks like when you're uh, when you wait it goes up, but this one doesn't go up. So we can't get through there for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't restore. The, the water one restores, but the chemical one doesn't. So I don't know if I can even put these out with it. 
So we're probably not going to win this today, but let's see what we got here. Put that out, because that's kind of weird. Oh, no, don't jump. Come on, dude. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, are we going to axe the door? Or are we going to open it? Is that a hole in the floor, I'm assuming? I don't know how far I can jump. Let's just try this. Oh, it's not a hole in the floor. Oh, there's a person. I can't leave without Anne. I can't leave. Okay, okay, alright. I, I don't know who Anne is or where they would be, so let's look around. Here's some dude. Just. That's a mannequin? What? That's not a mannequin. Come on. That's just an excuse. It's <laughs> a bad excuse. Or just a mannequin. Doesn't look like. Why would there be a mannequin of like a passed out guy in regular clothes in the back of like a, a building? Now, there, now we're on the other side of that fire firewall. So there's her again. Let's see uh, if I can. Is there a way to move faster? Oh, there is. Okay. Wow, I, I didn't know that. You run by double tapping the D-pad forward, and we're already getting hurt. So. Okay, alright, uh, that's not the way to go. Okay, um... I mean, this game's kinda cool. It's pretty good for being a firefighter simulator in an arcade style. Uh, it kinda has, like, a kind of, uh, a definite Super Nintendo era style feel to it. Um, which makes sense, of course, but... <laughs> Um, it, it's definitely like a fun way to do a firefighter experience. There's no one here. I'm like, I'm supposed to find someone else. Maybe there's another door. I can't tell if there's a door on the public path. Hey, why is he auto running? Like, I, I don't like that. Like, if the run is like an auto run, or it seems like it's an auto run, like you press it forward and it just keeps going. Okay, we gotta wait for us to restore. supposed to be another person. We've got three minutes left. Don't worry, Luigi, I'm coming. There we go, that can't be a mannequin. Come on. I'm Lucy, is my husband okay? Here, take this first aid kit, you may need it. That's cool, they give you items and stuff. Uh, so let's put that in my inventory. Stuff is rain weighing me down. I can't run or kick. That sucks. What's this? Can I just use it? I'm gonna switch it up to that and then use it? No? Okay. I don't know how to use it though. game's kind of, it's pretty cool, and it's got a lot of depth to it that I wouldn't have expected. Uh, but it's, uh, definitely has a learning curve to it. Uh, it's not that complex or anything, but, like, I don't know how to use the health item. Okay, so I can't run now, which I, I didn't really want to run anyways. I rescued one person. There's still five other people. Um... And we're not going to get through the whole thing today, or the whole level at least, um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, oh, I can't get past that? Okay. I wonder if the health thing's automatic? It's probably not, so I'll probably just die if I get hit one more time. <laughs> as, as the fire erupts on me. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not really trying my best today, necessarily, uh, because uh, I don't know if it's a spin point, um, but... Uh, I'm just trying to show you guys what the game's about, uh, the basics at the start of each game. So let's move on to the next game, which is Super Valis 4. Which, it says Super Valis 4, that could be like an in-game title, or like, it could actually be the fourth game in a series. I've never heard of this series, and I've never heard of this game. All I know is I, I saw a little video of it a couple days ago. At the end of the century. I know it has some cool cutscenes and it's supposed to have some great music. I have the sound turned down pretty low right now. The reddish moon symbolizing the evil spirit world rises in the sky. So the 
title. The followers of the evil spirit are resurrected with the rising of the moon. Gallagher, king of the evil spirit's forces, bellows to all who listen. You will destroy the dream world first and then eliminate all who are not part of the evil spirit's reign. Whoa. Yuko Aso, goddess of the celestial Valis, awards the divine Valis sword to- Okay. Lena receives the Valis sword to uphold the strength of the Valis warrior. She is the only one who possesses- Okay. Okay. Mighty Maiden, the bells toll for battle. Alright. This kind of looks like the game East on the Turbo Graphics, which had a really nice art style similar to this. I think this game might also have a version on Turbo Graphics or something similar. Um, if that's what I'm thinking of. You got option mode. Let's put it on normal and then start. What? Oh, red is the select. Okay. So we want on normal on game start. I thought white was select. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's, uh, Valis Phantasm Soldier Episode 4 Mighty Maiden. Whoa, what a title! Act 1, Vacant, Vacant 1? I don't know. So, yeah, it's like Castlevania, kind of. You got B to jump, Y to attack, X button, to, A button don't do nothing. You got some kind of select with L and R, maybe like a sub, sub, sub weapon select. If you can't talk properly, that'd be great. So, we got some things there. Let's try using those. I don't know how to use it. Oh, I did use it, okay. So there's like a way I used the item, but I don't have no idea what it did. I didn't see anything about what it did. Uh, the graphics are a little more limited on the background than like Castlevania 4 on the, on the Super Nintendo and stuff. Uh, I can definitely tell that, but it's, it's pretty cool in its own way to have another game. Like, if I knew about this as a kid, like, Super Hasn't Made 4 was my favorite game, and it's my favorite game of all time. I played it a lot as a kid. Super Nintendo was my first console, so, like, I played the Castlevania on Super Nintendo the most. Uh, not Dracula X, but Castlevania 4. If I knew about this, and also Dracula X, I'd probably play in this one a lot as a kid, too. I had no idea this game existed. I've never heard of it until, like, it was announced for the Switch. Um, so I don't know why I've never heard of it, but it's just... It looks pretty cool, and so far it's kind of fun. It's kind of basic so far. I mean, like, there's a lot of nothing going on right now, but... Uh, seems like there should be more enemies or something. Or maybe I'm going the wrong way. There's some platforms back there. Oh, I can, I can double tap to run, just like the ignition factor. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got some axe armors. Spear armors. Straight out of Castlevania. Whoa! Whoa! The heart. Oh! Knockback. Knockback. Another thing straight out of Castlevania. Um, end of the screen? Maybe? Oh, it's death! Another thing out of Castlevania. Boomer cutter? Okay, I jumped right into that one. Alright. It was pretty easy until I got to a boss fight. <laughs> of course it was easy until then. Uh, let's start to continue. Start to continue? Okay, um... Okay, so we're at the very start of the level, aren't we? Okay, so now we're back at the boss battle, and I've noticed this time that the boss's health is in the health bar at the bottom of the screen. My character's health is at the top of the screen, and that's a definite inspiration from the game series Castlevania, so you can tell this game takes uh, direct references and inspiration from that game series. Now, I have these sub-weapons, but I don't understand how to use them. Like, oh my- okay, I figured it out. It's up and attack. So, another thing that I should be looking more like Castlevania. Got him. With no health left to spare. 
Uh, look at my health up there, it's small. So I was wasting those, uh, sub-weapons. I was, like, discarding them or something. Uh, so I was probably using them and then swapping out to the next item, which takes it away, instead of actually using the item to help me out. So let's try to find... I'm thinking of Castlevania once again, trying to hit the candles. Um, but let's try to find a sub-weapon, and, uh, then I can show you it. So, like, we have this one equipped that's, like, a diagonal line. And you can, uh, use that to shoot this blast out, whatever that might be. Kind of looks like something from Altered Beast. Um, so we've got these bad guys here. Dude, this game is really fun. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this as much as I can, uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to beat it, too, actually. I probably could. Um, it doesn't seem as hard of a challenge as Castlevania, now that I've switched since I've figured out the sub-weapons. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. Super Valus 4 is the name of the game. Let's just kill this guy, and then we'll switch to the next game. The final game of today. First, I'm gonna make a save point. Alright, everybody, let's move on to the last game of today, and that is Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble from Rare and Nintendo on the Super Nintendo. This is the only game out of all these that I've played before, so maybe I'll notice some differences, such as the graphics looking much sharper and cleaner than on the native Super Nintendo. Uh, potentially, they should look better on the Switch, and so far they're looking great. Um, it once again, has the added feature of online multiplayer, which for this game is definitely one that has it. 1996 Nintendo makes it one of the last Super Nintendo games, the last major ones at least. Dixie Kong's Double Trouble is the subtitle. It's the third game in the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, and oh my gosh, it's so nice to have a more reliable save data. Uh, we've got it all set up, so let's start out here. I'm going to choose a one-player game. You can do different variations of two-player. And my name is... Uh, let's write Hybrid Games. Okay. First file. Now we got Dixie Kong jumping off into the water. She swims over here. This is all automatic. She goes to Wrinkly's Save Cave, which is where you'll use your save stations. I know a lot about this game. I've played it mostly. I, on my Super Nintendo, I have a save file, and I'm like right at the final boss, and like I, I can't do I can't do it. That's just it's really hard. It's harder than two and one, definitely, because I can do those easily, uh, especially the first one. Okay, so here it is. And you can notice in the background she has the Nintendo 64. So this game came out when the N64 was being hyped up. Uh, or maybe even released already. Uh, you can tell there's, um, sometimes when you go to the save station, or the save cave, you can hear, uh, the castle music from Super Mario 64 in, in a different rendition. Uh, so that's a really cool reference to have in this game. So then she goes on over to Funky Kong's, uh, rentals. Actually, you can move from now. Uh, so we can go up here to Bazaar's, uh, general store. There's all these bears in the game, and they're mostly for, like, kind of, like, quests where you trade items. Uh, I think you can buy items with coins as well throughout the game. Uh, this game has a little bit of a different feel than 1 and 2, definitely. Well, then 2 had a different feel than 1 as well. Uh, so, I don't know why, but some people, like, put this significantly lower on their list than the other two, but I think it's a great game. It's a challenge. It's harder than the other ones, I think. Sure, you're not Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong, but Dixie's really cool. Kitty Kong's okay. Uh, he's the new sidekick. He kind of plays a little bit more like Donkey Kong does, but there's also new mechanics in the game, uh, such as, like, throwing. They, they had that a little bit in the other game, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, but in this one, they have a really big emphasis on... Like, you can pick up the partner and throw them. And the way that uh, Dixie picks up Kitty is a little bit different than the way Kitty picks up Dixie, so I'll show you. Uh, so here's the gameplay where it's a 2D platformer. See, so Kitty's heavier than Dixie, so she can't really throw him that well. So if you swap over to Kitty, he can pick her up, and he can still, like, kind of move around and stuff and throw her because she's lighter. And then you can go up here, there's some secret items. Uh, yeah, wow, it looks really crisp on this, uh, TV. Uh, uh, or on the Nintendo Switch, I mean. Um, it's got... Really vibrant colors, and it just looks great on this console. It looks good on Super Nintendo, it's not like they really changed anything. These GK coins are hidden throughout the levels, and you have to get them in specific ways. Here's that. How do I get into that? I don't remember. Do I just throw Kitty? I feel like I jump and throw him. There we go. Go to bonus room barrel. 
And this one, you collect 50 stars. So let's kind of rush through this. I like to play as Dixie more in this game, but there are specific points where you're going to want to switch to Kitty Kong. Okay, so there's that. And then we also got to grab the coin, too. Yeah, this game's really fun. I played it a lot as a kid. Uh, I have some really weird specific fond memories of this game that are kind of depressing, uh, so I won't mention them here, but uh, uh, for the most part, it's not anything that the game did, it's just like the situation around when I was playing the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, this game is really great. Um, I, I always like this one. I don't really get why people don't like it. I don't, I don't really get that. Um, I, I don't know, maybe the soundtrack I like a little bit less, but there's some really good songs in this game soundtrack too. Uh, so this elephant buddy, there's there's new animal buddies. You use him, him or her to uh, do different things. Like on, on for one example, you can make her um, like drink water with her like nose and then like or her trunk, and then you can uh, like squirt the water at enemies to shoot them. You can also use it to pick up uh, barrels like I did before. And then you can also use it to like kind of grab barrels from a short distance too. So here's the first level. Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. And that's it for our games today. I'm gonna go ahead and make a suspend point, because now you can save whenever you want, of course, as well as rewind and fast forward, or fast forward, I guess you can't fast forward, you can rewind, uh, and play it online. Alright everybody, that was it for today's Happy Weird Games video. We checked out five awesome Super Nintendo and Nintendo NES games that are available today on Nintendo Switch Online for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo NES downloads. They are all really cool games in their own way. We got a fighter game, we got a Castlevania style game, we got some firefighting simulator game that's pretty cool on arcade. -y. We got the classic Donkey Kong Country 3, as well as an awesome noir uh, type of uh, point and click adventure style game with some weird fighting elements into it that I haven't figured out quite yet on the Nintendo NES. So these games are all really cool. It's probably one of the most solid months they've had for downloads. I mean, you might not think of it at first because these aren't like giant games except for Donkey Kong Country 3. Uh, they're not super well known, I mean. Uh, but they're actually really fun and I like all these so far. So if you like this video, please be sure to leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. You can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Subscribe to Hybrid Games today for more classic gaming goodness. And if you like this video, maybe I can do another one next time they add more games. Or maybe I can check out some of the past games. Anyways, thanks for watching once again. Bye!